Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today I'm going to play around with the uh, Lasco, my heat, my personal little heater, 200 watt heater in the van again. So let's get to it. I want to do a more in-depth, uh, detailed thing to actually see if this is going to work out for us or not. It is currently 52 degrees in Menifee. So yesterday I uh, got home and hooked up the batteries to all my solar panels. Over there on the left is the 100 watt Harbor Freight Tools Thunderbolt Solar Kit for 25 watt panels. And these over here are 15 watt panels from the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt solar panel systems. I just hooked it up. I wanted to make sure that my batteries, these are the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt AGM 35 amp hour batteries each battery and I do not have them hooked up to the solar overnight so this is a resting state for these batteries and they're reading 13.3 uh, volts so I know for sure they're fully charged so I'm gonna run some tests in the van on this Lasco my heat little portable heater 200 watt heater so I'm going to move all this stuff out to the van. So in the last 24 hours, so at home, the high was 82 in the van. It is currently 52 degrees in the van. But overnight last night, it says that it was 32 degrees in the van. So under a more controlled situation at home, I'm going to test this little portable heater uh, some more. Okay, I have set up my test environment. It is currently 54 degrees inside the van. It is a nice sunny day. So I am getting some passive solar heat on the other side of the van that is going to help warm up this van as time goes on. But currently, uh, my batteries are reading 13.2 very full charge. I'm running two 35 amp Thunderbolt solar batteries, AGM batteries in parallel. So I know I have 70 amps. Um, that's uh, 840 watts. Okay, I have that hooked up to a 700, uh, 750 watt modified sine wave inverter. And we're going to turn on the uh, Lasco my heat personal heater 200 watts um, I know when this uh, heater gets going it kicks down and uses about hundred and fifty watts but my inverter will use some wattage so I'm still gonna do this test at approximately 200 watts of my 840 watts uh, total batteries uh, I said it was 54 degrees and uh, let's turn on the inverter. Okay, we have power, still reading 13.2. And let's fire up the heater. It came on. And it has kicked the voltage down to 12.7, 12.6. When everything's first kicked on. And I'm not going to let this, these batteries come down to a lot less than 12 volts. But I'm going to shut the van door. And I'm going to leave it on the floor away from the uh, temperature gauge on the wall. And I'm going to time five minutes says it's 9.52. All right, so I'll turn the camera back on at 9.57. And it's 9.57. So let's see what it's done in five minutes. Okay, I've opened the van, and everything seems to be running fine. I would say I'd give that not five minutes, but closer to about eight minutes. And it did raise the temperature from 54 degrees to 63 in here, which is pretty darn good. I got distracted outside, so I'm going to say that it was closer to 8 or 9 minutes, not 5 minutes. But it is still running and throwing out a little bit of heat. 
the loudest thing, the heater, you can't hear. It has a little fan, but you can hear the inverter trying to stay cool. So what you hear is the inverter's fan. And my batteries are sitting at 12.4 volts. So it's holding there at about the half drained, um, half depleted state. But I'm going to turn everything off and let the battery settle down. And I think they started at 13.2, I said. So we'll see actually how drained they are um, after I turn this off. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off. All right, and then the fan instantly went off on the inverter. I'm going to turn it off. And we're going to see the voltage on the batteries went up to about 12.8. We'll give them another minute or two to see if that's going to change. Yeah, it's gone up to 12.9. So I'll turn off the camera and let these rest another 10 or so minutes and see what the actual uh, wattage drain was on the batteries. Okay, so about five minutes have gone by and my batteries are back up reading uh, 13 volts. So I think they started at 13.2 and I only run these batteries to about half depleted. Uh, these are the Thunderbolt AGM uh, 35 amp batteries and they're about half depleted at 12.2 uh, volts so from 13.2 to 12.2 volts would be half drained so I ran that uh, 200 watt heater for I would say a good 10 minutes altogether and it's probably taken down uh, from where I want to drain them uh, 12.2 so only a 0.2 so that is about 20 percent of what I wanted to use in 10 minutes so you can calculate that out that you can't run that heater for very long <laughs> without depleting these batteries maybe it would go an hour but at 10 minutes a time to get almost uh, 10 degrees if the night wasn't too cold and you woke up cold, you could run it for 15 minutes and at least get some warmth. So, with these two batteries, you probably wouldn't rely on that. But if I doubled the batteries, it would cost me another $150 for two more of those batteries to double my storage. And uh, that might work out. Hey, so thank you for watching my little... Uh test I'm doing on the Lasco uh, My Heat personal heater. In a pinch it'll, it would probably uh, save you from freezing to death <laughs> in the van. Thanks for watching. Um, please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!